Hello beautiful beings and welcome back to the channel. I hope that this video helps you grow into the person that you want to be. So if you're here, you've got this inkling that maybe you're an overgiver. And symptoms of that are burnout, a feeling of being kind of discontent, feeling like you can never get enough out of relationships, feeling like you put things out there and they're not getting recognized or acknowledged or you're not getting um, your proper fee in return. Those are all signs and symptoms that you are an overgiver. And overgivers will do 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 for everyone else and not even really notice it. And they also won't notice how they are not doing for themselves because they're so used to quieting that voice down. So for years, I had a voice inside of me saying, I wanna do singing lessons. I wanna take dance. I wanna learn the tango. Um, I want to paint. I want to draw. I want to plant gardens. I want to do this and this. And I would always tell myself, ah, eh, later, maybe, meh, meh, meh you know, kind of pushing everything to the side. I even had little things like, I wanna go study at coffee shops more. It took me decades to start listening to this voice and I was a chronic overgiver. I was always worried about giving to and taking care of everyone else without even knowing it. And the biggest way for me to understand it was to really take a pen and paper and make a list of all the things I've denied myself. All the things I've said, oh honey, later. Yeah, maybe we'll do that some other time. Even the little things like buying a book or a certain lip gloss I wanted, it would always be like, nah, we're gonna put that off. And um, what that led to was chronic overgiving and the sort of symptom of that was a sense of unfairness in the world. And where that comes from is the world being our mirror to our inner universe. So it's unfair because you're being unfair to yourself. And so the medicine to change this whole thing and raise your vibration because overgiving plummets your vibration. How can you attract when you're sending out an internal signal that says unfair, unfair, I don't get to receive, I know I want that thing, I'm not gonna give it to myself, unfair, 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 unfair energy. H how do you think the universe is gonna respond to you holding the frequency of unfairness? Because the universe knows one word, yes. So if you're vibrating with that's unfair. I'm not getting my needs met. It's unfair. You're going to get a big yes from the universe and it will show you evidence in every person, every job, everything in your life. There's going to be a facet of unfairness. And the um, solution, I think, is not necessarily focusing too much on the outside world but going within and starting to vibrate at a frequency of fairness by giving to yourself in a way you've never given to yourself before and at first it's gonna feel selfish and weird and uncomfortable and you're gonna question it and you're gonna be doing things and being like can I really do this can I really take time out to do an art class right now can I really buy this thing for myself? Can I really go get this treatment? Can I really start this certification course that I always wanted to do? Can I really go visit that little part of my town or city I've always wanted to? Can I really schedule regular walks? Can I really drive to that place instead of just do something that's a little more logical? Can I really go all the way over there to that place where my heart is being drawn? It's gonna feel weird. Can I really take myself to the coffee shop instead of study at home? <laughs> it's gonna feel weird, but once you start giving that to yourself, you're going to find that an automatic balance 
starts happening in your life with your family, with your friends, with your business, with every other part, because all of a sudden you're watering yourself and giving yourself everything that you need. And what happens when you water yourself is you're no longer desperately waiting for anything or anyone else in your life to water you, including your partner. And when you're filling up, filling up, filling up on the inside, trust me, people around you are gonna have to go through some adjustments, but ultimately you're gonna be filled and overflowing and so much happier. And a big part of this is, you know, we're raised to believe another person completes us. We're raised to be codependent creatures and to be really scared of this level of independence. But this is the journey for some of us. Um, and that's gonna depend on your astrology and uh, your own personal makeup. But if you're drawn to this, if you're feeling like you overgive and it's hurting you, if you're feeling like you want to tune into yourself and, and get to know yourself on a new level, then I recommend this practice of just doing what feels good for you and following your impulses and your instincts a little more as to what feels good to you. And throughout this experience, you're gonna learn what you really like and what you really don't like and what really fuels you up and what doesn't. And it will sometimes be the simplest things that help you click in and feel like, ah, oh, I nourished myself. Ah, oh, I just needed that 10 minute walk in the garden. Ah, oh, I nourished myself. And when you take this time to go within and nourish you on that level, you will be able to probably give as much as you were already giving in the first place, but it's gonna feel balanced and nourishing because you're also giving to yourself. And big, big bonus, now that you're holding the frequency of the sense of fairness and love and receptivity of what you want, the whole world and all of your relationships are gonna reflect that back to you and become more giving and more nourishing as well. So go and give to yourself and see what happens.